good evening friends we started discussing about the thuja in last lecture and we'll continue with the thuja at least for three to four lectures because it is a big polycrest and a king of antipsychotic remedy and that's why we have to discuss many aspects about the thuja earlier also i have discussed some cases of the thuja in earlier session when uh, before the walk the poly and yesterday also i have shared two more cases today before entering into the alenski notes again i will share two important cases in my practice one patient who was brought to me she was a female around 25 30 years of age between that with a polyp in the right ear and it was just coming out and she had a chronic otitis media since childhood she, she the discharge was yellowish greenish pus like discharge was there it was not painful but it was irritating her little bit deafness which was developed because of it <clears throat> she was on many times on antibiotics anti fungals were prescribed and doctor have advised her to go for operation for both things the, to remove the polyp as well as the chronic otitis media for that purpose they asked her to go for operation but she was not ready for operation and that's why she came for homeopathic treatment so a lady around 30 years of age having a polyp right from right ear and also associated with the chronic otitis media with a greenish discharge is a typical psychotic it indicates the psychotic miasm is dominating then i considered all things in her case but i was not getting anything she was quite reserved she was not able to explain or not able wants to share things she was little bit short stature and whole case i never got more than this along with she was a chilly patient that's what that's what the thing she was quite chilly she was not hot at all so considering all those things and i have observed that there are multiple mild warts around the eyes they were there on the cheeks over there so i consider it's better to go for the thuja i have given thuja to her in six potents it was way back when i was not having the lms potencies with me earlier in my practice i, I never had uh, lm experience potencies were not easily available at that time so lowest potency with me was 6 so i have started giving the thuja 6 repeated for a week and asked her to come after some time when she returned back after 10 to 10 days her polyp was regressed much get absorbed inside her hearing improved so i asked her to continue with the same medicine for another week and asked meet me after 10 days more and within span of 2 3 months the whole polyp disappeared her discharge from the ear completely stopped her, her sense of hearing has improved and she was little bit different because earlier because of deafness she was not able to correlate from properly in communication she has developed a great skill thuja is such a remedy <clears throat> which has this polypish tendency polyps from nose polyps from ears polyps from vagina polyps from uterus rectal polyps this is a one wonderful remedy one must think about considering the psychotic miasma it would not similimum as an intercurrent in chilly patient this remedy was better but in this case it worked as a constitutional and it recovers the whole story so this this is what we have to understand basically this come this is uh, this polypus tendency is the characteristic of the thuja there was another patient who was around 50 to 55 was brought to me with 
severe articular rheumatism associated with the hemorrhoids. So he was typically rheumatoid arthritis case with a beginning of the complications, the fixity in the joints. And then he asked that he had a bleeding piles. It is painful and it is since long time, nearly about three, four years he was having that. And I have I was examining him. He was dark complexion personality with a greasy face, typical greasy face, with a thick tongue, which was there. So when I was examining, it was not a it was not hemorrhoids. It was condylometer letter. These are flat words at the anorectal region, and whole side was covered with that flat condylometer. So I asked just one question: Do you have whether you had any problem earlier? And then he explained, Doctor, I have taken penicillin injections for nearly about three months. I had a tremendous urethral discharge. It was very much yellowish, and doctor told this is in in in, in Marathi he said, doctor told me garmi dalitula. That's why. He has given me penicillin. I have continued it for three months. That stopped, but thereafter I developed these both things. So I, I have developed this rheumatism joint pains thereafter. Once that has cured, I started getting this rheumatism. And at the same time, there was such a hemorrhoids. He in his language it was hemorrhoid. So it was very typical of the psychotic miasm. The gonorrhea getting suppressed, leading to rheumatism. One must think about the thuja. If a patient is chilly, if the patient is hot, think of medorina. This patient was chilly with a greasy face, with a dark complexion, with condylometa latta, all things in favor of thuja. So I have started him giving thuja. I have given three doses of 200 potency and asked him to return back after a week. After giving Thuja 200, it worked so beautifully that he, he came for post follow He was saying, yes, I'm feeling much better. Pains have stopped. But fixity was there. Rigidity was there. So what I have done, I have given one M because it, it should work more internally. Joints are more internally. So I have given one M, three doses. After giving one M, three doses, next time he came with a whole rheumatism totally settled, but all of a sudden he started getting the same discharge from the urethra which was suppressed for five years back. And this was a wonderful thing. The Thuja has brought back the discharge. So I have treated that patient for another three, four months where his um, uh, urethral discharge was also covered internally, not, not by anything. His condylometer also regressed completely, disappeared. In the span of six months, he was completely cured. So, suja is such a wonderful remedy in such types of cases where such types of pathologies are quite common, which we have to understand. Yesterday, we have learned certain aspects, the constitution, we have learned, we have learned how is the mental state, the fixity, the OCD, the paranoid states, the insanity. That's what we have discussed. Today, we're going to learn a few more things about the physical. One important symptom with which we will start from Allen's kinos is related with vertigo. And vertigo, when closing the eyes, very important characteristic modality like lachesis and theridion. These are two more remedies where the vertigo is aggravated by closing the eyes, they immediately get fills the VD. And thuja is one of the important remedies. It is given in italics. It has a meaning. It is a very specific for the thuja. Then headache is characteristic. And headache is very, very specific because it has certain characteristics. Headache as if the nail had been driven into the parietal bone, like coffee and ignatia. The parietal bone, someone is pressing the nail over there, that severe pain is there, like coffee, like ignatia. Or another way, or as if a convex button were pressed on the part, same thing as if a convex button is pressing on the parietal region. 
headache aggravated from sexual excesses another characteristic modality after sexual excess the headache develops think about the fusion headache aggravated from overheating and headache from tea very specific underlying the selenium this is a remedy this remedy has important modality it aggravates many complaints by tea drinking on day first i have explained one case of toothache aggravated by tea drinking and this is tea drinking is always causes a problem for the thuja the headache also aggravates because of tea like selenium headache is chronic or psychotic or syphilitic origin so headache which is not acute headache it is a headache which was persistent since long time it has history of the some such a pathology like psychotic pathology like syphilitic pathology and because of which this type of headache persists for longer time of duration that variety of headache that variety of migraine you can get with the thuja and specifically the parietal headache is very characteristic with the thuja in head the external symptoms are important this is one of the important remedy for the atopic dermatitis of the scalp or psoriatic dermatitis of the scalp because this remedy has white scaly dandruff hairs dry and falling out hair fall this is a wonderful remedy if dandruff is associated and dandruff is very white in character and white dandruff generally happens to be there with psoriasis white dandruff is always associated with atopic dermatitis of the scalp and that is with the thuja that's why one must think about the thuja in such types of cases either a specific if symptoms matches if not inter as an intercurrent in such types of cases eyes i have told you one case yesterday tell as you on will to read what what is given in eyes company ophthalmia neonatal this is one of the ophthalmia that is very important ophthalmia neonatal psychotic possibility large granulations like warts or blisters ameliorated by warmth and uncovering uh, sorry covering if uncovered feels as if cold stream of air were blowing th out through them so there is a lot of irritation in the eyes the eyes there are multiple wart like excrescences which you can observe near the eyelids there is a discharge from the eyes and the patient is very sensitive and he never wants the air to be touched very sensitive eyes with the psychotic pathology with the syphilitic pathology this remedy is a very important remedy eyelids what is it eyelids agglutinated at night so eyes are eyelids they becomes agglutinated at specifically at night like urgent dermatitis eyelids are dry scaly on edges see eyelids are dry as well as they are scaly on the edges edges are scaly styes and tarsal tumors tarsal tumors are nothing but the chalagio styes and tarsal tumors chalagi he has written over there thick hard knots like small condylometa so they are hard knots at the eyelids at the peripheral level and which blocks the thing the meibomian gland which is getting blocked over there producing a typical hardness or their irritation in the eyes with a discharge with agglutination after stapesagria partially ameliorated but does not cure if you feel it is stapesagria stapes the most most important remedy for recurrent stapes is always the stapesagria but if you give stapesagria and it is not getting cured completely intercurrently you must use the thuja thuja is very very important remedy for specifically for such types of chalagions which develops after the stapes so i have discussed that case in yesterday's lecture case of chalagion ears this has a very specific action eyes ears nose every mouth these are very specific action on the in the face area ears chronic otitis 
chronic otitis media. This is very important remedy. The marks are if the discharge is thick, yellow, offensive, recurrent, chronic, marks are is the first remedy one should see. Chronic otitis discharge is purulent, like putrid meat. There are there is a granulations, condylomata, polypy, pale red cellular bleeding easy. Polyps are pale red swollen cellular bleeding easy. And this is wonderful remedy for polyp from ears, polyp from nose, polyp from the rectum, polyp from urethra or vagina. This is a wonderful remedy. Tendency to the polyps is covered with this remedy. And that's why this remedy makes all those characteristic features. Uh, psychotic myism has the greenish discharge. Natrum, sir, you'll get the greenish discharge. Medorinum, yellowish greenish discharge. This psychotic myism has this characteristic. So, Thuja is very specific for it and that's why one must think if ENT pathology is there, one must think it, whether it is related with psychotic myism. If it is so, think about Thuja. Chronic Qatar, nasal Qatar. This is what he is explaining. Chronic Qatar after exanthema. Exanthemata means fever with rash. Chronic Exanthemata leading towards the chronic cutter of the nose. Thick green mucus, blood and pus like pulsatilla. It is close to pulsatilla but pulsatilla is very subacute. Tuja is chronic. Pulsatilla is acute. Silicia is chronic of pulsatilla but Tuja is an intercurrent if the psychotic myasm dominates. This is one more intercurrent and which has very close features to the pulsatilla regarding the discharge, regarding the option, mm. no, obstruction, regarding the polyps. <coughs> it has a very close relation. Then, in the mouth, teeth decay at the roots. See, this is psychotic. Externally, the crown looks very normal. There is a toothache. And you observe the tooth looks normal. If you take the x-ray, the roots are fairly. This is very important, like measuring. So, teeth decay at the roots. Crown remains sound like mesarium. And if teeth decay on ages, it is stapizarium. Yes, fibroid tendency definitely has the psychotic myism in background. Definitely. So, chronic, what he says, teeth decay at the roots, crown remains sound like mesarium, and teeth decays on ages, is tapisagrin. Teeth crumble and turn yellow, that is sipilin. So, teeth become yellow, teeth crumbles. Crumbles means they gets break into small particles that is psychotic it looks normal but they are not having strain gets easily crumbled that is thuja sipilinum also has this but sipilinum as the crown of the teeth is decayed in thuja it is the root of the teeth is decayed Merxol, it is the crown of the teeth is decayed sipilitic is openly sipilitic psychotic is internally Sipilitic. So it, it keeps everything inside, never wants to show it to the public. That's what comes out over there. Even see the ranula. Do you know what is ranula? Ranula is a cystic swelling which appears below the tongue, which contains fluid and it is below the tongue which appears. So if you see the tongue, it looks normal. If you see below the tongue, there is a ranula. It is ranula, bluish or varicose veins on the tongue or in the mouth like ambra. So this is one, one more important feature of the thuja. It has cystic swellings. Cysts, ovarian cysts, then the kidney cysts, polycystic disease, 
if the liver it contains this stuja is a very important remedy very very important remedy. one should not forget the stuja see next future that's what i have told you earlier to thick from teasing characteristic patient comes to you and patient says doctor i am everything is okay but whenever i consume tea i get the toothache and that it's a very characteristic which you are getting so many a times we miss this these are the things one should not forget it should be kept in your mind if patient comes articaria after eating the meat you must come directly if you know the remedy yes it is anti improve so these are very specific modalities where there is a single remedy which you can get generally on blowing the nose a pressing pen in the hollow of tooth or at the side of it as observed by culex mentioned by bonimosen so whenever patient blows the nose there is always a toothache see this is these are the characteristic these are concomitants these are specific modalities characteristic modalities and one should not forget these are the rare modalities but you if you get it you get the remedy and you get the results allen's keynotes are keynotes for such thing they are absolutely keynotes and that's why one should not forget then the abdomen will complete the abdomen okay abdomen as if the animal were crying abdomen motion as if something alive abdomen protrudes here and there like arm of fetus this is a, this is a typical obsession which is there with the patient fixed idea something alive is present in the abdomen some animal is lying inside the abdomen the abdomen is protruding here and there all those things very typical so last the, what he says protrudes here and there like arm of fetus like crocus that i was nux moschata the sulfur having these features sulfur it is more theorizing more typical theorizing nature which with which patient talks over there crocus the similar sensation which happens to be there in the hysteria then distressing burning pain in the left ovarian region when walking or riding must sit or lie down so whenever patient is walking there is always a distressing burning pain specifically in left ovarian area lower left ovarian region and this is the remedy for left ovarian cyst even though the remedy is right sided left ovarian cyst is covered with the thuja very specific for the left ovarian cyst distressing burning pain in left ovarian region when walking or riding must sit or lie down so whenever patient walks there is a pain and when the patient lies down or whenever sits he feels better and it it makes the patient to sit like a crocus like a stilago the left ovarian pain worse at each menstrual cycle so whenever the menses comes this ovarian pain appears again and again and this is very specifically the left ovarian so see modalities plays very vital role and you get a characteristic symptoms over there constipation violent pains in the rectum compel cessation of effort stool recedes after being partially expelled this is like a silicia like a sanicula many a times like silicia this patient also removes the stools mechanically here the constipation is more marked the stools comes out partially and they again recedes back and this is very typical with the thuja patient silicia has silicia it is very difficult constipation there has to remove it completely with the mechanical method piles swollen pains most severe when sitting so there are hemorrhoids with aggravation by sitting another important feature of the remedy and last point which we will discuss is related with diarrhea 
early morning diarrhea expelled forcibly with the much platters like aloes curling as if water from bung hole aggravated after breakfast diarrhea aggravated after breakfast diarrhea aggravated after coffee after fat food dryness aggravated after vaccinations and lastly diarrhea aggravated or developed because of onions onion always aggravates the thuja complex and that's why if you prescribe thuja as the patient avoid the onion very specifically and last complaint of rectal complaint is anus is fissured painful to touch surrounded with flat warts that is condylomata or with moist mucus condylomata and these are the things which are very very characteristic about the thuja which one most know it has very specific action on ent aspect as well as gi tract specifically lower gi tract is more commonly affected in thuja so we must know all those things and we, if we understand them then it becomes quite easy to come out with the remedy in many patients so we have finished part one more part of the thuja tomorrow we might finish the remedy will complete the thuja in next lecture so many aspects of thuja we have discussed and it is a very important remedy is it necessary thuja must yes thuja chili if you go with the modality thuja chili it is not a hot remedy if it is hot then it closely associate with the medovin any other query question so that's all regarding the some part of thuja we have finished one, one case sir hmm? can i discuss it what's there uh, sir uh, one patient age uh, around 30 ha uh. me two years of marriage after two years of marriage they have not question even once before because of uh, fear of question even okay. sensitive to touch also fear of question and sensitive to touch could not get what you are saying sir uh, one pa female patient age around 30 ha uh very -huh. uh, about three, two years ha uh -huh. have not even uh, question once okay because of even after lab marriage this was a lab marriage even after uh, two years they have not uh, um they have not met sexually so now uh, i have prescribed sir platina hmm there is no improvement if uh, can i uh, use this to that sir in that case so thuja and platina these are two remedies is sensitive at that level but in platina there is excessive sexual appetite nymphomania is present in thuja it is not so thuja yes. it is associated with the urethral the vaginal discharge with leucorrhea mark and because of which yes. the area is sensitive completely and that's why thuja avoids the patient there is no question of dryness which you you can get in lycopodium which is not there yes. with the thuja so thuja is a remedy whenever if you kill it is psychotic having the sensitivity with leucorrhea leucorrhea is having greenish yellowish tinge more with yes. sweetish smell typical upper perspiration around genitals then definitely it is a thuja okay, so this is not matching sir that's why i am i pass then you see what happens if you have given the thuja just see what happens if it is no, not i have not given thuja sir hmm no sir i have not given thuja i have given then if it is not matching it's not thuja then you have to work it no, out with the case again okay sir okay so i have given platina yes so just yes, see yes, and yes. work it out again Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. So, thanks a lot. We'll meet again tomorrow at the same time. When to give thuja in intercurrent? Intercurrent. Whenever patient is not getting cured completely, and recurrence is there, and if you feel that his miasmatic block is there and psychotic miasm is dominating, then thuja definitely has a role. but patient should be chilly enough then you can give the thuja okay 
is it clear so we'll meet tomorrow again thanks a lot and good night